This is our downtown Dockside District Bundle. This is a massive three foot by two foot build. Uh, the base is four of our new shoreline terrain trays. Uh, so you have a full family of those terrain trays. And those are compatible with our Wildlands, Raging River, and Mountain Lake terrain trays. So you can expand out that family. Uh, and the upper portion is built on two of our big new 12 by 12 uh, battle boards that have uh, sculpted cobblestone texture. So it's a uh, best way to get some sculpted coverage quickly and easily. This district is more than enough to do a huge encounter on your own. We also have all these leftover pieces plus uh, these footers, plus there's some armored shutters that didn't make it in here uh, and a couple other pieces we're still casting up. Uh, so there's plenty of other building opportunities. Uh, specifically, you could also take these uh, three C walls and the three C walls on the side. You could flip things around, use them to edge another district, move the terrain tray over and have a four foot long uh, shoreline if you wanted to. Ideally, we're giving you a toolbox so that you can build a whole bunch of uh, seaside encounters, right? Anything from uh, the lizard folk and the marrow having an aquatic incursion uh, to maybe the players need to uh, sneak into, it's like the, the pirate, uh, pirate town, um, or maybe there's a, an ambush on the docks or they're getting mugged or they have to sneak into a warehouse on the docks or whatnot. But fundamentally, uh, we're trying to gather together all the pieces uh, and lots of scaffolding for docks to build anything on the uh, seaside. Just like all of our uh, districts and landmarks, uh, this is made up out of component sets, so you can buy the sets individually rather than the whole big bundle if you'd like. Uh, for a complete listing of all the component sets that make up this district, uh, take a look at the Kickstarter page. There's a link in the description below. Now let's look at some of the details in this thing. So starting down here at the uh, water level, we have uh, a bunch of basic dock buildings. So at the simplest, you're just taking the scaffolding platforms, popping the pilings on, and just dropping them out into the water. Uh, if you want to do transition from one level to another, these are the uh, secret door panels, the solid secret door panels. They make great transitions from one level to the other. And they also let you kind of cock things a little askew. I'm always trying to make things a little askew so it looks more realistic. Over here, we're doing the same bit. These uh, pilings are in low mode. These ones are flipped around upside down into the high mode, so these docks are higher, transitioning using the same secret door panel. And we're using the diagonal platforms a lot to give everything interesting character, right? Everything's off at these interesting angles. Um, and then further, like once again, because these aren't attached, we're kind of skewing these off just a little bit to uh, make things feel really real. So. Working our way over, uh, we've got the six inch rope bridge here, which always looks dramatic, right? It's super fun to connect uh, the two platforms with the rope bridge, great place for a fight. And then working over here, we have an example of multi-level build using uh, the scaffolding platform. So we've got a pair of the four inch platforms biscuited together on the bottom, then the pilings are biscuited into the sides and these pilings are then held together with a pole accessory peg. So this whole thing is like super sturdy. Um, you could put a big, large size mini on there, no problem. Uh, and you could go higher, right? You could build up three levels or four levels if you wanted to. Uh, there are a bunch of pilings, a bunch of platforms in here, so you could take these pieces and build super high if you wanted to. Uh, coming off the back here, we have a, a nice little example of the modular stairs. Okay, so we have the 38 millimeter stairs going into a uh, stair pillar, and then that's connected to these 25 millimeter stairs. Uh, and we could put a biscuit connecting those two, but I wanted to uh, leave it free so I could kind of drift it off at a slight angle. Uh, and these things between the 38, the 25, and the 61 stairs, you can get to pretty much any height that you're going to build with the, the platforms or with the buildings. You'll be able to get up and down using these stairs. So over here, we've attached the pilings right to the floor of the building, right? You don't need to just put them on the scaffolding. You can actually just biscuit the pilings right to the side of the floors uh, or anything that has a couple of biscuit holes. So here and here, uh, those are supporting the front. The back of this is supported. It's resting on the uh, seawall and it makes it super sturdy. And then the 
platform over here is biscuited to the other side of this, so it's one big solid unit. Uh, working our way along the uh, coastline here, we've got the whole front of this is built with our new seawalls, and most of them are right without with the little bastions out. And then this one has the sewer grate sticking out, and this is a really neat just a little transition, right? You could have that go down to the sewers. Maybe the rat folk are coming out, pouring out and attacking the docks or whatnot. But you can switch them around front or back and gives you some nice visual variation to your seawalls. But fundamentally, these uh, seawalls work really easily with the battle boards. And we have these one inch stilts that are in the set. So you pop down the stilts, drop a battle board on top of the stilts and the seawalls, and instantly you have a nice raised area on your, uh, on your battlefield. It looks really impressive and it's super sturdy. Very quick way to get some elevation on there. Uh, we also, this is a nice example of the compatible geometry. We're constantly trying to put uh, the same measurements in our stuff so everything will line up. So this is 38 millimeters high, just like the sea walls, just like the same height on the, uh, the pilings. So no matter how you line things up, uh, you're gonna find all sorts of uh, sympathetic geometry. It's all working together so, so smoothly. Um, working our way over here, we're coming up to these platforms using the same it's modular stairs. In this case, they're cocked a little askew. Once again, we could have done it straight, but it was more interesting to uh, put it off at a little angle like that. Uh, and the same thing over here, more modular stairs getting us down. Uh, this whole run of platforms has uh, been attached to, it's biscuited to the sides of these buildings. Uh, which A, makes it really secure, and B, gives the buildings a lot of character. So in this example, like this building is a simple four by four, just square, right? Square building, two stories, uh, but it has a lot of character because we've attached these platforms to it. Uh, we put this, uh, this is the four inch uh, soffit peak on the front there, which gives that a bunch of character. And then we put some of the, uh, these are the corbel um, post facades. So a lot of character on a very basic shaped building. Working our way around, we have, oh, these, uh, these pilings. This is an example of the pilings have the footers, uh, they're pegged in the bottom of that to lift these platforms up to second story height. You could also flip those footers around and they have a uh, indentation on there if you only wanted to go up one floor height instead of one inch. Uh, so once again, you can get to so many different heights using uh, the pilings and the footers in conjunction. That works us over to this medium-sized building in the middle. So we've got some fun stuff happening in the back here. This is the uh, railing corner platform from the, uh, from the scaffolding. That's biscuited right to the side of the building with the, uh, the door there so you could pop in and out. And then we have the hanging ladder is biscuited right to that and drops down to the second story where we have one of the uh, diagonal scaffolding platforms turned on the 45 degree Exist and popped against the side of the uh, building with another hanging ladder going down. So a couple levels you can pop up to. And once you get your minis up here, there's also there's playable space up on the roof, right? We have these uh, magnetic perches and you could also then hop up and down using the hanging ladder hanging off the cupola. And it was really important to try and get uh, playable space on as many different layers as possible in the build. So you can have really dynamic, interesting, combat uh, on the z-axis. People are zipping all around every which way. Um, working around the front of the building, we have the little cupboard with a removable shelf, uh, which also works as a window insert. And then over here, we have one of the two inch railings popped into this platform. It's got the uh, pull accessory clip on there. You can slide that on there and adjust your pull accessory. In this case, we have a little spyglass on there. And I'm really excited about this. This was a piece we originally made for our city's, our uh, castle's Kickstarter. And it was hard to get, we haven't reprinted. So we're reprinting it in here because it fits really nicely with uh, Low Town and particularly with Dockside if you want to see the ships coming in. So excited to offer this pole accessory again. Then going to our last building here, this is a big old warehouse, right? And to try and make it feel big and grand and like you can hold a lot of stuff. We're using the double high walls on the front. So this is the, uh, the rustic wood double door wall with those cool new barn double doors in there. Uh, those are the exact same 
shape and compatible with all of our double doors from Dungeon of Doom through Caverns Deep through Hellscape. So you can interchange all of those double doors. You can throw these new barn doors in your dungeon. Uh, you could put your Hellgate doors in here, whatever you want. Very happy to have these double high walls with the double doors in them. Uh, and then we've got solid uh, double high walls going around the back side. So there's a big, nice cavernous uh, chamber inside there. The other interesting technique going on in the front of this building is these are our new uh, banister corner posts. Uh, so these do not have the grooves in them for walls. They're just for doing something just like this open air area. Uh, they loft up another story. In this case, this is like a, a staging area for goods before they go out to the boats, but you could use it for the outs for a porch or the outside of a stables or put your smithy in there or whatnot. Um, so a lot of fun potential with these little banister posts. Um, also right above them, we have an example of the rivets. These are uh, little hole fillers for the, uh, the biscuit holes if you want to cover them up or add some character to your building. In this case, each of these has a little pull accessory hole in there. So you could hang something off of it, such as a clothesline. Oh, and down below on the floor, these are our little, the small steps, uh, the corners and the straights sort of wrapping all the way around to make a uh, nice continuous uh, step from the, from the cobblestones up to uh, this floor level. It's a great way to transition any of your buildings down to the uh, floor if you'd like it. Uh, in the corner here, we have the diagonal scaffolding platform biscuited into these two corners. It's helping to hold this whole building together. Uh, and we've got a couple of doors you can access from there and 61 millimeter stairs, part of their modular stair collection there goes clean to the ground. The upper part of this building is a wonderful showcase of the modular roofs, right? So no matter what shape you want to build with your buildings, you'll be able to cover it with the modular roofs. Uh, we're using the straights here and a couple of valleys here, a couple of hips here, hips here, and everything just flows together and lets you cover interesting multi-level irregular shapes uh, if you can build it. You can put modular roofs on it. Uh, we also have the magnetic perch here and magnetic trap door here and those let you get up to this top side here. We've taken one of the uh, narrow platforms from the scaffolding, pegged it to the top of the roof so this is super secure and then use that as the staging area. It's got a couple of railings and then the 25 millimeter modular stairs to let you connect to the trapdoor so people can get on up here. And then that thing is biscuited to the cupola up here. And we've used that piece with a couple of four corner posts and some of the narrow window walls, a little two inch peak to make a little lookout tower uh, for watching the ships come in or it's a great ideal little sniper's nest up there and whatnot. And then on the front of this building, we have that four inch soffit peak and that flows continuously and smoothly into uh, the regular rake soffit there so you can make these really nice continuous long uh, roof runs with the overhang that helps make it feel real gives each roof a bit of character uh, and then on the front of this building uh, same narrow scaffolding platform as we have up here but this time it's biscuited to the side of the building four inch railing on there pull accessory clip and uh, this is the hoist pull accessory up there for lifting goods on up and then corner railing platform attached to the side and 61 millimeter stairs coming down to connect to this building. And the idea here is we wanted to have a lot of just different ways to get up to the higher levels of the build. So encourage uh, your players to go up and use the uh, use elevation to their advantage and make it really interesting. Or you, you put bandits on the roof or assassins on the roof or stuff on the different high levels. But hopefully this build will give you an idea of the sorts of things you can build uh, with this district. Uh, tons of dock pieces in here. Um, lots of great wood building pieces. Uh, hopefully this will inspire you and can't wait to see what you do with all these pieces when you get them.